Hi everyone, in this short and simple video I'm going to show you how to take a Category 6 cable and connect it to a Category 6 uh, jack. Now it doesn't matter whether this is Category 6 or whether it's Category 5, same thing with the cable, Category 6, Category 5, the process is still the same. The tools you'll need are a pair of uh, lineman snips and a 110 punch down tool. However, if you don't have these things, you probably can get by with a pair of household scissors. And these little plastic tools have been coming with the jack inserts, these little things. They've been coming in the same kit with these lately, so you could probably use this too. It's not the preferred method, but we're gonna, we'll are gonna we do it both ways. So you can, you can see it both with the punch tool and also with this little plastic insert tool. Okay, so to begin, the first thing we need to do is to strip back the jacket from the Cat6 cable. So the jacket is this plastic coating that is on the outside and inside reveals uh, eight individual wires inside. So I'm going to take my snips and lightly make a grazing action or kind of a scoring action on the outside of the jacket and then I'm going to break it open. Now it looks kind of easy because I've done this for many years. You may have to kind of fight with it a little bit, but ideally you want to expose these wires. But we're not ready to start yet. Because that grazing action sometimes will actually end up damaging the, the, the wire coating on the inside, the, the coating that goes around these wires, we need to do another process where we take and we make a little notch in the cable like so. And then there's this string inside, or it's, it's formally referred to as rip cord. Uh, sometimes it's slangly recalled, referred to as dental floss. We need to put that on the notch and pull back a little bit. And the reason we're doing this is because, like I said, when we do that, that uh, scoring action on the outside, we can sometimes penetrate too far and actually cut the coating. So by doing this, what we're doing is we're getting a fresh, we're, we're exposing a fresh set of the wire to us. And then what we do is we take our, our uh, snips or, and we, we, we want to get that wire tore off of there or, or preferably cut off of there in a nice round circle. Now one of the things that's really important when we're doing this, this work where we're, we're connecting the, the wires to the, to the um, RJ45 jack, you know, our, our Cat6 or our Cat5 jack, is that we want there to be very little excess wire uh, between the jacket and the uh, and the jack. Words, when we terminate, terminate is the formal word for connect. When we terminate these wires onto this jack, we don't want there to be a lot of excess exposed wire. Ideally, what we want is for our jacket to pretty much mate right up against the back of the jack. So now on these jacks, and these come in different shapes and sizes, and but one thing is pretty common for all of them is that they have this color code on the side. So do you see here, I've got this kind of a solid orange and kind of a striped white orange and then a solid green and a striped white green. And then if you flip it over, it's got the same thing. But there's two sets. So here they're the same. The blue and the brown are the same on this side. But on this side, that you know, you've know, got the green here and the green here and the orange. So it's like, well, wait a minute. What, which one am I supposed to use? Well, what this, what this is, and it probably doesn't show up on the camera, but if you could see it up close, there's a B style and an A style wiring. So if you choose to use the key on the bottom, it's B style. And if you use the key on the top, it's A style. And then here, the blue and the brown, it's the same for both. So that's why they look the same. Well, so you're like, okay, so what are the colors? I mean, what does that apply to? Well, if you look at the inside of the... The, the Cat6 cable, you'll notice there's the same colors. We've got blue, orange, green, and brown. And each set of wires, every, every set of two wires is twisted together. So these are what's known as a pair. So we've got a blue pair, orange pair, green pair, brown pair. And if you separate the pair, what you'll notice is that one of them is kind of like a white with blue and one is a solid blue. So if you look at the jack, and here we've got like a white blue and a solid blue. Well, that's that's your key. So for instance, your your solid blue is going to go in the notch with a solid blue color on the jack and your white blue is going to go into the notch with the kind of the, the whitish blue indicator under it. Does that make sense? All right, so all you got to do is just line up the colors. And then like I said, there's a, there's an A style and a B style. The B style is on the bottom, the A style is on the top. 
And then what you want to do is, is if you're not sure, use B style because that's the most common. But ideally what you want to have happen is your, is your, your, your method of A or B needs to line up with whatever your patch panel is. Like I said, if in doubt, use B because that's the most common. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to lay these wires into the notches before we actually do the, the uh, termination part. So what you have to do is kind of get them on the sides they need to be like so. And I'm doing this probably a little slower than I normally would because I'm trying to do it for the camera. So it's a little trickier for me. And then what you do is you kind of you untwist these wires so that they're so that they're loose enough that you can get them into the uh, individual slots. So I want to get the blue into the blue slot here. Okay, I want to get the brown into the brown slot. And these 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 color codes that are, that are on these jacks they'll be in different spots depending on what brand you 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 get like a Leviton's color pattern might be different from say like a Hubble's so um, so you do need to pay attention to the to the individual color codes so I'm gonna do my green okay so I got those wires all fed into the appropriate slots before we start doing any cutting or, or punching down or terminating we just want to do one more quick check just to make sure that we got our colors right because we don't want to get done and then find out we got our colors wrong okay oh looks like I got this one. Oh, this one's right okay alright so the termination tool is referred to as a 110 punch down tool or impact tool so you see this little blade on here there's a there's a shorter side and a longer side the shorter side is the non-cut and the longer side is the cut side so this is designed to fit right down into these little slots right so I want the the shorter side on the inside and the longer side on the outside because I want when I push down it's going to force that wire into some metal teeth down there and then this longer side is actually going to cut the excess wire off of here. I'm gonna do it with this first and then I'll do it with the uh, with that little plastic tool next so we can see what that's like. All right, so now that I did that, these wires are perforated. Sometimes they pop right off when you do the, the cutting, and sometimes they're, they just have to be kind of wiggled off because they're perforated. Now, unfortunately, on this little plastic tool, there is no cut mechanism, so I'm going to have to do it and then go back and cut them afterwards. So, so this little thing is a little plastic tool that I've seen comes with the jacks lately sometimes. They didn't used to, but I guess this is, since it's become more of a do-it-yourself kind of uh, endeavor, they've started including these. So I'm going to use this thing to push the the little wires down into the slots. Okay. Uh. All right, got those all pushed down, but because there's no cut on there, these are not perforated. So what I'm gonna have to do, and I'm not crazy about this idea, but I'm gonna have to come back and try to cut off that excess wire as close as I can. And this would be really tricky to do with a pair of household scissors. A little easier to do with snips. And that's not too bad. Okay. So that's what you want it to look like when you're done. And again, remembering that the jacket needs to be up into the jacket or touching the jacket as much as possible. You don't want excess space between where the jacket ends and the exposed wires are going into the jack and the reason that is is because we want to keep those wires twisted as much as possible we want to keep the jacket on there as much as possible because it helps with the noise uh, reduction properties of the cable plus it also helps with the speed then lastly you have these little um, like covers these covers are designed to just fit right on top like that and sometimes there'll be two separate ones, or sometimes it comes as just one big giant square that fits on there. And there you go. That's what it looks like. Okay. So um, ideally, if you have the right tools, a 110 punch down impact tool and a pair of lineman snips are ideal. But if you don't have those things, if you can just at least get one of these and, um, and a pair of household scissors, and you can probably, probably get your way through it. Okay. Thanks for watching.